Hi and welcome. On this video, I'm going to show you VST Transit Join and VST Transit Go from Steinberg. VST Transit is a groundbreaking cloud collaboration service that brings together musical talent from all over the world. If you're a Cubase user, you will probably know VST Transit as it's one of the many great features in Cubase. But now, VST Transit can also be used by users that work in DAWs other than Cubase or even an iPad. Let me show you how they look. VST Transit Go transforms your iPad into a mobile music collaboration device, letting you find fellow musicians, producers, and singers. With this easy to use app, you can record, edit, and share your music projects or stay up to date with the progress of an ongoing song or production. VST Transit Join is based on the VST Transit technology and allows musicians, producers, and instrumentalists to collaborate with each other. With Transit Join, the boundaries between different music production systems virtually don't exist, as you can use it into any DAW that supports VST3, AU, or AAX plugins. Right now, let me give you a quick example on how you can use VST Transit Go and VST Transit Join to collaborate with other people. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Here we are in a typical DAW that supports AAX plugins. But of course, this will work in any DAW that supports VST3 or AU plugins as well. First, let me play this rough idea for a new track. VST Transit Join is an instrument plugin. So all you need to do is create an instrument track on your DAW and then load VST Transit Join to this instrument channel. And there we go, this is VST Transit Join. Now the very first thing you need to do is log into your account. To do this, you just click on this icon, enter your credentials and click on the tick icon. And that's the very first thing you will see when you log into your account. You will find your projects right here. You'll be able to click on them, open them, check your messages, invite people to collaborate, publish them, delete them, and lock them so that nobody can edit your project. The Arrange page shows you the current arrangement. The Friends page allows you to see the list of your online collaborators and also the status of your friend requests. In the Shop page, you'll be able to find the different packages that you can buy for VST Transit. And on the search page, you can search for users. So if you want to collaborate with somebody and you know their username, you'll be able to find somebody right there. Now, let's say I have an idea for a new track and I want to collaborate with another musician. All I need to do is create a new project. And I'm going to type the name of my track. And now I have a brand new project right here. There are different ways that you can bring material into VST Transit Join. One of the ways is to drag and drop material from Explorer or Finder or from your DAW if your DAW supports that function. But the other way is to record audio straight from your DAW into VST Transit Join. All you need to do is create a track and let's call it Beat. You can also change the color of the track. Let's say red. And now we need to route audio from my DAW into VST Transit Join. All you need to do is go to your bus or your audio channels. And now you need to route them to your instrument channel, which is the VST Transit instrument channel. Now we need to set the input on VST Transit. We hit the record enable button right here. And we also hit the record button on the VST Transit Join transfer bar. Now all I need to do is hit play on my DAW. And as you can see, VST Transit Join records the audio that plays back from my DAW. Now let's mute the bus that plays the audio from my DAW and let's just solo VST Transit. And you will see that now the audio plays from VST Transit. So I can change the level, I can change the panning,
So now let me give you a quick overview of the tools that we have in VST Transit Join. First, we have the Select tool that allows you to select any audio event in the project window. Then we also have the Repeat tool that repeats the audio event when you click on it. We also have Undo and Redo functions that are completely separate to the Undo and Redo on your DAW. We also have a Split tool that allows you to split the audio events. Erase allows you to erase an audio event. And Mute allows you to mute the selected audio event. We also have copy and paste so that you can copy and paste material into different sections of your song. Snap allows you to move events according to the snap value. For example, bar, half notes, quarter notes, and so on and so forth. You can also disable snap altogether. When you click Setup, you can find quite a few options for VST Transit Join, such as chat options, metronome volume, project options, and so on and so forth. Now that I've recorded audio into VST Transit Join, all I need to do is sync it. So basically, I'm going to click on Sync, and now the audio is uploaded and it's ready to go. It's available to anyone that I want to collaborate with. So now let's go into the fun stuff. Let's say I want to invite a friend of mine to collaborate or even somebody that I don't even know. For this example, we've set up a different account on the iPad right there. And I know that my friend is Dave, the guitar guy. So now I can go and invite Dave. You can also see that he plays bass, guitar and synths. So now I can click on this. I can find some info about Dave. Now let's go and friend Dave. Now let's go and check out what happens on Dave's side on the iPad and VST Transit Go. As you can see, the interface looks pretty much identical. Dave has my friend request right here. So you can go ahead, accept invitation from Dom Segalas, yes. And now Dave the guitar guy is on my friends list, as you can see on the VST Transit Join interface. At this point, let me mention that we might be using a third-party DAW right here, but of course, VST Transit Go works perfectly with Cubase as well. Now we can start texting each other. Straight away, I have an indication for a new message on my friends tab. If we go back to Transit Join, we can see Dave's reply. Again, bear in mind, these are two separate accounts. Dave could be on a different country, completely different place with completely different setup, but we would be able to communicate that easily. So now all I need to do is go to my projects, go to my Upper Street Beat, and now I can invite Dave to this project. So let's go to projects now. And you can see that now Upper Street Beat is on Dave's project list. So let's click on that and open it. Now, as you can see, both VST Transit Join and VST Transit Go share the same project. We can see the exact same audio. I can zoom in and zoom out on every application and I can see the exact same material. Also, as you can see, we have the two collaborators in different lanes. For example, I have Dom Segalas, which is what I've created, my beats, and then I have Dave who can actually start recording stuff on his own system. Now, if Dave wants to listen to what I've gave him, he can just hit play. And this way he can listen to the audio that I recorded in my DAW previously. So now let me show you Dave's setup. On his side, Dave runs VST Transit Go on the iPad, and on the iPad he has the URRT2 connected as an audio interface. So essentially, you can record really high quality sound straight into VST Transit Go because basically it supports any interface that works on an iPad. Let's try and record some bass. All we need to do is add a new track. Let's call this bass, have it a different color. Record enable the track. We can even monitor it, and now we can start recording.
and we're done. We have recorded our bass track with great sound coming straight from a professional audio interface, straight into VS3 Transit Go. So let's play it back. And of course, now I can go ahead and edit the audio that I played if I want to. So I can just go like this. I can just trim a little bit of it. I can split the audio. Let's say I want to split it over here. And then maybe I want to erase this bit. And maybe I can change the position of the event. I can hit sync to sync my audio. And now this project is going to be updated in my DAW in my VST Transit Join system. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and text Dom and say, just recorded the bass, let me know what you think. Now, when we go back to our DAW with VST Transit Join, we will immediately get a notification that this project has been updated and that we have new messages from Dave. So let's go to Messages. Just recording the bass. And let's go and check out the project now. And without lifting a finger, I can immediately find Dave's bass take right there. So when I hit play on my DAW, and maybe I can write him a message, and now immediately Dave gets my feedback. And of course, he can reply to me. And then he can go and edit the project accordingly. Sync. Now when I go and hit sync as well, I can find the brand new updated project that Dave has just edited for me. So he starts with the riff straight from bar five, like I asked him to. Needless to say, VST Transit Go can be an invaluable tool if you're a musician or producer on the go. Imagine this, you're abroad in a hotel room, you can edit your project, record new parts, then go back to the studio, open Cubase or any other DAW you're using, and boom, all your newly recorded parts and edits are there. So as you can see, VST Transit Join and VST Transit Go always stay in sync, and collaborators can keep adding new material, edit the recordings, and communicate in real time with each other. But the most important thing is that VST Transit works seamlessly no matter what DAW or platform you use, allowing to bring together musicians from any part of the world without limits. And all this with pristine, professional audio quality. That was a quick overview of Transit Join and Transit Go. Hope you enjoyed this video, have fun making some great music with them, and we'll see you on the next one.